everybody. Uh, welcome back to uh, Shapes. Shapes 2. Um, yeah, so I let the game run for a little bit so I could complete this milestone. Uh, in the meantime, this shape got finished. So I'm off and done with that one. I added a little more to my pin task menu. Um, and I started on this shape. So I retooled what I had here. I just got some remnants sitting here. Um, but I'm about to get railroads. Um, this is huge. This is, uh, yeah, I've been waiting for this. Now, there's a couple other things that I would like to get. Um, now, of course, every time you get something, you get a whole bunch of stuff. Um, rewards, which means more platform limits, uh, which I'm about to clean up all of my platforms and whatnot. But uh, a couple of new tasks. Some good stuff. Uh, I'm on to the next. So I'm going to take a screenshot of that real quick. Get a shot of that over there. Okay. So now I have my next milestone um, in order. And we can minimize that. Okay. Um, yeah, well. So the next milestone will be color mixing. Um, needed, yeah, if I'm going to get into some of these other pin shapes, um, we're going to need yellow. So in, in theory, I could get rid of this one. I'm sorry, that's green. That's not yellow. Uh, if I'm going to get some into some of these ones. Uh, I'm thinking some of the ones I just got there. So we finally get yellow down here. So um, I'm able to do these ones. That, yeah, yeah, I'm able to do these ones. So uh, there's some interesting shapes. It seems in sane mode we go to five levels. Interesting. That's going to make, that's going to change the MAM. I like how I organize it. Um, the way I organized my MAM before was in four quadrants. Right, because it's four levels and four quadrants and yada yada yada. Okay, so I got new milestones. I'm not gonna chase these right away because I'm not worried about mixing paint until I pretty much get all of these pinned tasks. Now, I want the pinned, like I want the I want the milestone, yeah. But I want the pinned tasks as well because you see all the blueprint platform limits, the research points. Um yeah, that's something to me that's that's well needed. So in my research, um, I was contemplating getting uh, fluid minor extensions. It's something that I've been kind of wanting. I would love to get a lot of this stuff and speed up my painters as well, but I'm really missing these minor extensions, to be honest with you. It's, uh, so now that I've gotten my um, last shape, which was this one here, um, it was going in kind of slowly too. Uh, it's now turned into a purple star. Um, I mentioned this before. I'm going to retool that whole factory so that it's coming in a lot faster. I need a lot more of that. And now that I have trains, I can get rid of this discombobulated mess and I can also now search for the parts and pieces and the colors and pick up a zone that I want. Um, so that piece, uh, I have a picture of it, I'm sure. It's coming out of here and it's this one. Okay, I have a picture of this sitting in my, my little blueprint window over here. Okay, and that's the piece I'm going to recreate. Um, shouldn't be too hard. I could uh, just copy and paste this whole mess. I don't know whether I want it in this order. I, yeah, yeah, I wasn't very happy with this. But what I'm looking for in the zone that I want to go to is a, a little bit of a distance away. And then um, I forgot to get, sorry. Before I do this, um, I want this. I want a copy of that. Uh, where's my notepad? There we go. I use uh, just a standard Windows notepad, and I will re take a uh, copy-paste of that. I'll put it over there. Uh, I'll take a copy-paste of that pick. I will find my zone. And of course, what I'm looking for is windmills, stars, rounds, and squares. 
and I'm looking for two, two windmills, a round, a square. So I got the, the star shape, I need the windmill right here. So round and yeah, it's right in here. So here, I'm gonna press an L. I'm gonna paste this one and I'm gonna call this, um, yeah, milestone. Milestone five. I'm going to save it. So that now will show on the minimap. But thank you very much, Debs, for having this show. Because usually you had to get uh, right close to it. Like get, you know, from this this view to this view. You had to go right in to see it. Uh, which is nice. It's very, very nice, actually. Uh, so in this, in this zone, I got green. I got blue. I got red. Um, I got my star shape, my windmill, and my square, and my circle. It's all right here. Awesome. Okay, so now we can start um, in with the miners, mining setups, minor shapes. So this being um, the star and I'm gonna need two of these. And then uh, fluids, I need blue, one blue will do. Okay, and I need one green. And I need two red. Well, I could actually go for three red. One, two, three. Okay. Now, when I get three levels, okay, these will work beautifully. I, these ones are not printing right now because I'm not getting three levels. Um, I'm actually not going to worry about it right now because all I really need is one of level one and one level two, and then one at level one, one level two, da, 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 da. and that's, I don't even know if I need the third set, to be honest with you. Um, not absolutely sure I do. What I could do is I could have, um, I could conglomerate these two lines, make this one level one, make this one level two, and then just make sure I got well inundated lines but I'm not all that worried about it. In the actual milestone area, I like to take these on level by level, okay? Meaning that the first piece um, is actually, let's take a copy of that, paste it in there. That is my first level. Uh, you might recall the piece I'm looking for is this one. Okay, so, if we wipe out everything, oops, yeah, there's my first piece, orientated north, and that's what I'm looking for. So, as I, and I have this in a in a screenshot, basically off to the side. So, to continue mining shapes, I need one square. I need one circle. One square, one circle. Um, I got two of these. And I, eh, mm, him ha, him ha. That might be enough. But it's not really costly to me to get a third one. So now we want to do this in um, kind of in zones, if you want to call it that. Now, this is all fairly close. Um, I'm up to 621 platform units. So I'm not all that concerned, and I won't be running back to the main base. I'll be training it there. So I'll be, it's not a huge deal. Um, in the bottom, we need the squares. So from the square, I need um, to uh, cut and stack which is why I use cut and stack. Uh, one foundation, two level, um, basically grab, and I'll need both of these. Hey, oh, hey, ha. 
I actually only need one quarter of it. So let's make something custom. So here we have basically square coming in and I'm going to need top right is what I need. I do believe I'm going to have, no, that's our 180. That's what I look right. Everything's got to get flipped. And I was talking last show about gathering this first, but because of the way the cutter, um, one other way to do this would be to not use the double cutter, but to use the single cutter. Okay, so it's still three cutters, right? And then it cuts half. We give it, um, collect it, okay, because it's all the same, right? It's all the same size. So we gather it and then um, flip it. And this takes two to flip a full belt. Go back to three, uh, grab that cutter again. And now that's our finish. Um, it only takes up three spaces. Um, there is 14 across a, which one call it? So um, 10 in the middle. If you count them across there, uh, you know, basically from here it's five or 10 across this square and then two on each side is 14. So with 14, if you go four, well then that's 16 and, four, and it doesn't fit in the 14. But this will fit just fine. Uh, we'll go there and there. Flip it, go there and go here. Now I could have crunched it a little better, but I don't really, I'll be honest, I don't really care. That looks pretty good. Let's um, not me. Okay, so this should give me. I need that in the upper right. I am facing, no, I'm not facing the door. I need it up one. So I need to spin it one more time. Um, Counterclockwise. And that should spin it, yep, to the top, to the top part. And then we'll take off and get out of here. So two more on each. So that's our first step. So that's going to give us the upper uh, upper right. We are facing north, and that is the upper right. To that, we're going to add a circle. We're going to do the same. And actually, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to gather that, and I'm going to paste it. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it right here. Except I'll bet you this final is going to be different. Yes. I need to do a 180 with that piece. I am, nope, facing north. So I need to do counterclockwise. So counter, counter. Okay. And that should give me face north. Oh, I went wrong way. <laughs> I went the wrong way. Yeah, well, that's counter, right? Yeah, okay. We want to go this way. Let's just reset that. And we're facing north, and we get this in the right quadrant. Okay. So that one and that one are set. Okay. Um, I could gather them with a train, but they're not. It's not that's not horrible. That's not really great, but it's not horrible. Uh, we are also going to need um, two half circles out of here. Uh, I'm 
mining setups, yes, minor shapes. So now I'm contemplating just doing a half, like just doing one and then it's done and get rid of it. You know what I mean? And then take it off and, and go do something with it. Um, I wish I had three levels because then I'll be honest with you, what I would do is I'd put this piece, the quarter on one level, the half facing one direction on the other, and then a half facing the other direction on the other. But it's not going to work that way. The other thing I could do um, that I was thinking of before is I could take the full circle piece and then split it up over here somewhere because I need to apply red to one and green to the other. Now this is going to be a permanent structure. This is one of my milestones. So this is going to be a permanent structure. Um, basically, I want this to be as efficient as possible. And to me, that means full, like this is going to be full four belts coming in, right? Full four belts going in. I have split this up, keeping, right? Full belt, full belt, using three. So um, all of my stuff is saturated belts, which is what I want. So this should be a saturated belt coming out. I would like to stick with that theory all the way through. When I get third level, then I will make this so that it comes in as three levels of saturated belts. I will expand on this so that I'm making more points um, and getting higher up in the operator levels because operator levels will give us platforms, research, and blueprints, which I mean, I'm not hurting on the blueprints, but I'm not going to say no to blueprints. That's not. The contemplation is how do I get it from here to here and, you know, make it as painless as possible. And to be honest with you, I'm thinking of going... Um, pulling the whole thing in and putting up on second. Oops. Until a later date where I have three levels, in which case I will come back and retool this a little differently. So this is now second level. This is first level, all firsts. So I can now uh, grab this and I want to bring it in. here for now and to save myself on platform units um, I will grab one of these and I want to uh, the bottom level is the quarter circles so that'll go there You will go here. Okay. Um, from here, oops. I need to unpack, or well, not unpack it, but um, bring it from second level. Back down to first level. Then I need a cutting system in here to cut it and put it in halves and maybe stuff one half out one side and one half out the other. Um, I don't, I'm not absolutely sure whether this is going to work for me. So if we use that and put it up against the wall, see that's still four spaces. And there's just nothing I can do to stop that. Hmm.
I wonder. If we went opposite. Kept these ones. No, nope, wrong one. Kept these ones up top and sent these ones downstairs. I just saved myself room because that's your halfway mark. Nice. That means I can still afford to put a belt there, belt there here. I'll still be able to organize them on the far side. Okay, doing good. Let's take that. Copy it, flip it. And that should fit just fine. Okay, so now we got four belts. Um, the bottom ones are facing one direction. The top ones are facing another. Oops. So once again, I'm going to throw these oops, out the bottom and then throw these ones out the top. Okay, and from this, we should, because we're saturating four belts onto four cutters, we already proved that this doesn't slow. This actually gets us eight belts. So after this, um, we now need to split this okay and send ah uh, in this case which way are we facing uh, north 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 okay so we want all of this stuff to turn anyways no matter what we want it all to turn well i just happen to have and we're not going to need a rotator three levels clockwise So we're not going to need that third level, and it, it didn't print anyways. So this should spin everything clockwise, which means it's going to spin the bottom ones one direction and the top ones the other direction. Face north, and everything's good. I still got to spin the other ones, but at least those are spun. Okay. Uh, we need another platform. And I need to do this again. I wonder if I can just copy this one. Oops. Copy that one. We'll pull an F. Copy F. Yeah, that'll work for me. Okay. So now we're sending half of them off one way and half off the other way. We then need to bring in a painter. Um, that one. Let's just do it right from there. And this one, uh, face north. Oh, let's, what's the closest one? Red. Uh, even though I silly me. Okay, let's let's put it right over here. So minor uh, minor liquid. And once again I'm not gonna put the third rack in, so I, but I'm just using the blueprint. And we are going to go. right to it and that'll give us red now we got two levels of red on this now that we're doing remember before I could only make the minor part I couldn't make the the uh, extension right so now I have a full belt uh, fully inundated four across on the first level and full across on the third or second level. This would normally be the third level, which is the way I, that's just the way I set up my painters. And I'm contemplating um, 
third level being my next one, third floor. It's 50 to unlock it, but I'm seriously wanting my third level because a lot of my blueprints rely on that. And a lot of my thinking, of course, relies on that as well. So anyways, um, this one goes for the top layer. Um, this one is the bottom layer. And this one is the second layer. So I, man, they're pretty, they're a little close. Um, I need to kind of get this one away. Uh, we'll turn it upwards. Uh, we're gonna put, oops. We're gonna put, oh, that's not where I wanted it. Just keep pushing the wrong buttons. Okay, so this one's gonna be green. And that's the furthest one away. Well, this is gonna be a little expensive. Oops. Okay. Yeah, 163, wow. I think it's time we started doing trains. Oh, where's the green lights right there? So I'm gonna do a train. Don't have f what? <laughs> wow! Really? Okay. Alrighty. Trains, filler wagon. I don't have it. Fluid wagon. Oh wow. Kate. Okay, well, um, I don't recall that in my first playthrough. Okay, well, this is going to be expensive then. Okay, so I need to be away from the red a little bit. At least by a couple of squares. Oops. You know what? We're going to come in right there. And we're gonna grab this and it's gonna be paint and it's gonna be the one one level paint on side so flip it because I know I need it there and there we go all set up ready to rock and roll the um, uh, what am I chucking these out at okay that was a mistake Now we're dealing with everything on the first level. Yep. Okay, it's accepting everything. Okay. Uh, although I brought it off the second, I forgot to put it down to the first. Um, don't need to do that there. That's good. Um, that piece is blue. Uh, where is my blue? It's right up here. I could. I could, I could, I could. I'm only needing one piece. So you know what? Um, this piece is going to be gray or not needed. Hmm. Because yeah, I'm using the other two to go the other directions. Red and green. Still waiting for green paint? Yeah, it's like way away. That's gonna take a long time to... Hmm.
Didn't need that piece there. I wonder if I can do that here and I get the same reaction, I wonder. Let's see how that pans out. <laughs> what I'm going to do later is uh, rework this and add two more levels to it so that it's three high so that when this starts bringing out three levels of do I not have it doesn't quite know yet uh, I didn't need that set of cutters otherwise yeah I'm going to destroy it so that was clockwise in the same way. I am north, and that is gray. Cool. Copy, go up a level. And these will go... Set those belts. Yeah. Nope. It'll be a 180. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't need to turn them. Ha ha! That's even better. So yeah, one on each side. Awesome. Excellent. Now we need to transport those a little bit closer to there. So now I got two belts of this coming in, which means I need to split it up. I had that over here. Let me just take a copy of that. And click that. Let's extend that one. Okay, so now I've got like one section coming out down here, which I'm going to mix with that and then color it blue. Um, uh, painter, one by one level, paint on the side. Paint goes right in there. So, 
that can mix with what level of place are you facing? Oh, bummer. It's the wrong one. Was not a bitch. Tried to cheat, didn't work. I want this one. with rotator. I gotta go counterclockwise by one level. Okay, so you should come in, get turned once, and be upper left. I'm facing north, yes. So upper left, they come out, yeah, good, good, good. Stacker unit one by one, and after that, there we go. Everything's good. I don't care which one's top or bottom in this, as long as I get that angle, and then that angle gets turned blue and continues on. Okay, whereas this one. This one is bottom left and top left. So those get the same thing. Stacker, side is top, doesn't really matter. Spin that that direction and hook you up. Now I have the left and the right. Bottom to, you know, I mean, I have the, 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 the opposing angles. And yeah, everything's all good. So let's go here, here, dip below. And then stack again. And this time everything's facing right. And plug that into there. And we should get that piece out the end, which if I face north is the exact piece I need. Okay, so that is like the bottom portion of our, so that'll always come in the bottom. So we can, um, we can plug this and kind of bring it about here. Okay, uh, plug in one of our stacker units where the side is the top. it that way. Oh, actually, I should have went one more. Like so. Now, the second level is not this. The next level is these. Okay. So we need the right side. So cut and stack. Spin. Must be only three. Cut and stack, cut and stack. I don't need them diagonally. So do I have a cutter with them? Ah, cutter, three level one for them. Okay. Nope, because that all does opposing sides. Bottom half, split into quarter. Nope. This is the one I want. It's a simple one because it's I, See if it cuts the right side though. So for this one, I want the windmill. Yep. So I have other ones where I 
cut it and keep both sides. And I do, I mean, that would work, but that takes up too much. And I have um, three of these running right here. So what I'm going to do is do the exact same thing here, right? But uh, I'm going to do rotator, half turn 180. And I'm going to do that there. Copy that, bring it up a level. Oops. Let's get rid of that. Copy that. Make sure I got it sitting right. Go up a level. Because I got these belts set to bring me two levels worth of stuff. This should work just fine. It's gonna rotate it first. Then I'm gonna take this, copy it. Paste it. And this should leave the two legs. Leave the, the star half of it. Yep. So that's gonna leave the star half of it. Okay, so we got our we got our two pieces coming out. We got our two pieces coming out of here. And I'm already down to Okay. Need more platforms. Okay. So we gotta go back to home base. That was part of, where is that task? It's at the bottom. I'm looking on my sheet. So that's part of that one, which is right here. So we can stop this. Now, can we even use any parts of that? Well, no, none of it's useful. Like none of it, none of that is useful. That piece, looks like nothing nothing like what we need because we need this piece i mean other than the half circle oh okay the two gray half circles um okay how was that working so this now becomes the top oops okay let's get rid of that and that so that now becomes the top and I gotta redo the bottom, which is not this. Okay, let's bring this back to here. Get rid of you, don't need a square. Um, yeah, not what I need. So right from the get-go. So what I need to do is, I wonder if I can swap it. No, because I need a circle on the other side. Okay. Well, I need the half circle. I need the half red. And I need the half circle. So I need that. I need more circles. So this isn't really, I could use that for the bottom. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. So I need to derive, I probably won't use both. Um, here's what I need. I need to cut this because I don't, where's my blue? Pretty far away for uh, 69 pounds, oh, yeah, too far away. Oh, right here. And I haven't erased all this. You know what? I think it's time. Although I'm still gaining here. I think it's time. this, this. Uh, I'll keep the red belts coming in. It goes. This all goes. That all goes. Oh, look at all them platforms coming back. Keep the 
the circle, keep the green, back the blue off to there. Okay. So use this miner setup. Where's my miners? Oops. Did I just do something? Ah. Um, yes, I did. Create folder. No, I want to bring it out. Open folder. Okay, well, this would be a lot easier just um, to go into my window. You can go into, you can push this button here. Okay, everybody, which is open folder. Uh, open the blueprint library folder on your hard drive. So I just messed up and I put inside the logic, I put my mining setups. I must have clicked and dragged it. I'm not absolutely sure. Okay, refresh, refresh. My mining setups is back. I goofed up, uh, no problem, no big deal. It's fixable. Ooh, that is just ugly. Okay, no matter which way I place it, I'm messed up. Okay, so here's what we can do. Put that there. Oh, okay, hang on. This just gets ugly. So that there, 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 there. and this one doesn't gain three. Sure it does. There, that looks better. So it doesn't really matter where these are put as long as the arrows are pointing the right direction. And then, uh, like I mentioned before, to check, um, you just check these four colors in the back to make sure they're all lit up. In these, uh, in the shapes thing, you just check these colors here. And as long as those blue uh, are lit up, then you have all of your stuff connected properly. So easy to watch, easy to see. So the red can be redone. That can be redone. Oh, I'm going to save a lot of... I'll keep the red. Sorry. I have to keep the, the flu... Whoops. I have to keep the fluid for now. Uh, because I don't have... Fluid wagons. But I can get rid of all the long belts. Okay. So, uh, we're starting to get down on blueprint points. Trains, um, shape loading, shape unloader. So if you want your train line to go a different direction, you use the F key and then your train line will be going in a different direction. Um, I want it to go this way. I'm fine with that. You can run trains one of two ways. Uh, when I first started playing the game, I didn't understand the concept that underneath, it this will run underneath. Okay, so it's kind of a weird concept. Um, let's go. Let's go right to here, just cause. That's not too bad. Did I aim it good? Ho ho, I actually aimed it good. Oh, there you go. Okay. So then we want to go one more and put a train stop. Because you need to have, you need to tell the engine where to stop and this is uh, where the engine is. Um, then we need locomotives. And I have only one locomotive for right now. 
Oops. And that's the red locomotive. Uh, in. Okay. Now I'm only loading one level. Okay. Because I'm only creating one level. In the future, I will triple this up and make three levels in this area, which as soon as I get the, the painters and all the rest of that fun stuff, then that's uh, I thought. What the heck? Why aren't you going? Maybe because I don't have a train stop here? That could be. So let's put another unloading. of it. And why are you just running around in circles? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay. I did it the wrong way. That doesn't make any sense. Unless I went the wrong direction. So loaded trains on top and unloaded trains on the bottom. Okay, all right. Learn my lesson. Well, I'm glad I figured that out for everybody on the channel. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So let's go that way. We'll extend that by just a couple. We'll put the train stop in. Let's go a couple more. Oop, not, not that way. Let's go a couple more. And then we'll have our two trains with their two wagons. Unloading station in. Looks good. Put a train stop right there. And then run one singular belt. And connect up the trains, and everything should be hunky dory. Okay. That looks a little better. Much better. Okay. So your trains have to run on top loaded, which, I mean, you know, thinking about it, yeah, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? If Because if you were unloaded, uh, you'd be dropping your cargo as you ran down the, down the way. Oops. Okay. So this is still, I mean, it's still making it. This is just the top piece coming in. Uh, it gets unloaded. You can hold three of these back here, and that doesn't include what's being spat out. And then you can have multiple levels, which I'm not ready for multiple levels, but later on down the line I will be because I make um, all of my stuff three levels. Because it just makes more sense. And that's pretty much trains for you. I mean, pretty much. Uh, and I forgot to get the other one started. This time I'm going to wait until he gets to the unload, and then I'm going to start the next train. 
As soon as you uh, apply the rail, you'll start the train. And they pretty much hold their... Because uh, if there's nothing there to load, they just keep going. They stop for their uh, allotted amount of time, and then they keep going. Uh, you can't. I don't think you can adjust it. I didn't see any logic lines being able to put into it. As of yet, anyway. Okay, there. Start the next train. That train's there. This train here. Right? And they're going to just continue. This guy's coming back. Except that he comes back underneath. Right? Which is why it wouldn't wouldn't work the other direction. Um, so you don't need to loop trains. You don't have need to be double-tracked. You don't need a return line. Which is really nice. Because you just need a single line. In it goes. And now, pretty quickly, we'll be making blueprint points again. Because that's what that shape was. It was blueprint points. So that'll start running again. Anyway. Um... I'm going to shut her down here. I just looked at the time. Just looked at how, how long this... Um, I'm feeling fairly good about um, the milestone area. Okay, I still got a little bit of work to do. I did one useless operation back here. I can fix that. That's not the end of the world. Um, because I figured out how to use it here. Right? So that I have this piece, which is my first piece. Like the shield, whatever you want to call that. Pretty much a shield. And that's the bottom piece to it. And yeah. So I got first piece in line. Um, second piece is just about made. Um, that's half of it. And as I'm looking at my thing over here, that's half. That's half of the second piece. That's half of the top piece. Um, I've already got the half the star, which is half of the second piece. And half the windmill, which is the other half of the second piece. I got to color that one red, and I got to color that one green, which means bringing the green line and the red line. Not that hard to do. And I'll tackle that in the next one. I'll get this. Uh, I'll get this milestone piece running so that I'm making operator levels. Uh, I have to go back and go do this piece as well. I think I'm just going to do that offline just to get it done, uh, because that was a piece that we did for. Um, that was shape. Uh, milestone back here. That was milestone number four. So I got milestone five. I'm going to get milestone four. That gets my operator levels up. As I'm leveling up, then what I do from now on is every time I make a milestone piece, which is what that is, if you look at milestone six, that's that piece right there. So when I complete milestone six, get my color mixing, and then when I get the pin pusher, and then when I start making crystals, and then we move on to the make anything machine. And I mean, some of these are quite, I mean, that's not really an intricate piece, but in order to get the um, crystal on top of that, uh, if just a, a footnote or a whatever if you're playing this game, you cannot drop crystal on top of something else. So the stackers have to be handled in a different, different way. And then pin pushing is fairly easy. Pin pushing is not a big deal. Uh, I just found it to be another thing. Uh, imagine as, as another shape. Anyway, uh, have yourselves a good day, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.